Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Just by watching this show, you were telling the conspiracy theorists at the corporate media that you don't want to listen to their nonsense anymore. <laughs> you got to be careful with them. And also, please support the show by going to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, where you can submit articles like this. Tim Stack submitted this article. Tim, thank you so much. All of you out there, your political vigilantes, you're giving me information that I was not necessarily aware of. This article was written, I just want to point out, this person worked at, uh, he worked for Vice President Biden from 2009 to 2011. He was an economic advisor. What economists have gotten wrong for decades. So it's actually some decent information in here that is, I, I thought it was going to be all nonsense. Like all just like, well, you know, audit, you know, whatever, just globalization is good, but it actually shows how the ruling class, maybe this guy found a soul when he left that administration. Um, it show, what, what this article does, and he does a very good job of showing the sort of myths or lies or distractions that they say about, about minimum wage, about globalization and all that. I'm going to just go in and break that down. So um, first of all is unemployment, right? So there is a rate at which unemployment could get so low that it could trigger ever rising inflation. What that does, often prompting the Fed to keep interest rates higher than it should, slowing down the economy of the pr in the process out of fear of accelerating inflation. This is happening right now. The stock market just tanked. All those those tax right. So Obama or. Uh, <laughs> I get them all mixed up. Trump um, gave a $1.5 trillion tax break to his rich buddies. He didn't help working class Americans as he said he was going to. And what did they do? They didn't infuse those tax breaks into the economy. They didn't give them to their employees. They didn't give raises or hire more people. They gave themselves bonuses and stock buybacks. So now the stock market's tanking. <laughs> There's no money out there for investment. Startups, all that stuff, small businesses, they need money. They need capital for investment. Everybody needs that just about. That's all frozen. That's the myth, right? So, and the Fed says this, right? What happened recently was the Fed was in front of Congress and AOC asked like, wait a minute. She brought this up. The unemployment rate now 3.7% has fallen well below the Fed's estimates of the natural rate, which it forecast as 5.4% in 2014 and 4.2% today. She called that out and they were, the Fed was like, well, yeah, I, I get it. So what that means, <laughs> it's just another myth. How globalization, you know, unemployment, they're not being upfront with us. It's like this. Manufacturing, right? I want to show you this. Well, first let, me, first let me read you this. In the late 1940s and the late 70s, when production workers were relatively insulated from foreign competition, blue-collar manufacturing compensation more than doubled. By contrast, it's only grown by 5% since then. That's right. So this is when they talk about manufacturing jobs. So this is January 70, right? Thousands of people in manufacturing. Look how it's just died. Between 5 and 12, it's come up a little bit, but look at this. This is globalization. This is shipping the jobs over there. But it but they the, the thing they sold us on was that um well co things will cost less and there'll be more tech jobs here and all that stuff. No, it's just again uh, this just profits the oligarchs because they shipped your jobs overseas. So this means there's less people making these manufacturing jobs were good, well-paying jobs, right? And as it said, blue collar manufacturing compensation more than doubled between the forties and the seventies. Since then, it's only grown by 5%. Right? So that's another, here's another myth. For decades, economists argued that when the federal government runs a budget deficit, it pushes up interest rates and slows economic growth. That's not true. Deficit here, 10 year treasury yield. Boom. This is from the Federal Reserve and Bureau of Economic Analysis. 
deficits and interest rates. So that's not true. So we see the banking and the oligarchs, the, the ruling class runs everything and they feed these lies to us, right? And, and people scoop them up. The other one here is about minimum wage. That's that, that myth, right? Um, has been assumption that minimum wage increases will hurt their intended beneficiaries, low wage workers. No, it won't. It only hurts employers who just want to cut into their profits. It'll cut into their profits. Real value of the minimum wage adjusted for inflation, right? The peak value of minimum wage, 1968, look at this, which was $21,000 a year. The last minimum wage increase was 10 years ago. They were making less adjusted for inflation, making less than 1968. Today, it's even less. It's 17% less than 2009, 31% less than 1968. Three grand in annual earnings lost, 6,800 in annual earnings lost. This is where we're at. So read the whole article and just see it. I, I, give, it, I give somebody credit from the Obama Biden administration is actually pointing out these not these how they're misleading us. These myths, these economic myths. Right? Oh, unemployment and the Fed and oh, minimum wage will hurt. No. Currently, there are 50 states. In all 50 states, minimum wage, a 40-hour week making minimum wage will not cover your basic expenses. So what happened, let's just, just, just review here. So as the manufacturing jobs went away, these were good high paying union jobs with good benefits. Minimum wage was just supposed to be for like high school kids, part-time employees, get a decent wage. Now, because there aren't any really good manufacturing jobs, if you're going to make minimum wage, you can't, it's never enough. And that's why everyone has to then go to this gig economy, delivering food, driving for Lyft or Uber, where you have no health benefits. You're not in a union. You get no pension. You get nothing else, right? So <laughs> this is the reality from what they're telling us. Thanks for watching the show. Please support it. Like, subscribe share, watch the, the ads. When you click skip ad, I do not get paid. Go to rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, and go to GrahamElwood.com for all my tour dates. September, Ron Placone and I are going to Omaha, Sioux Falls, Madison, Minneapolis, and Iowa City. September, I'm going to Russia. Uh, Ron Placone and I, November, are going to uh, Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, and Perth. All my tour dates are at GrahamElwood.com. And follow me on Twitter at Graham Elwood.